What's going on YouTube? GSNow right here. So in today's video, we're going to recap the current situation of the iOS jailbreak as for November. So uh, there have been quite some things going on, but of course not massively important things. But I still want to discuss with you about this topic since iOS 11 seems to be more and more ubiquitous on the um, you know iOS community, and a lot of people tend to want to update to iOS 11 uh, either due to the fact that they lost hope that a jailbreak will be available soon or due to the features you know uh, that iOS 11 has or due to various bugs on iOS 10 that buffers them so let me tell you about it and um, some of this information that you will hear might be known by you if you're a regular viewer but if you're not then uh, this will save you from watching like three or four or five different videos that I made you know during the time so let's start with the fact that um, there is this article in here I talked about it in a separate video that you can check out in the description down below in which we got a little bit of hope for the iOS 11 now I'm telling you this again to set somehow the ground for the information I'm going to present next about you know staying or leaving iOS 10.x now in this article in here, we can see that at a competition called Pound to Own uh, that's been held by Trend Micro, KeenLab has apparently uh, made some good achievements on the iPhone 7 hacking. They managed to hack the iPhone 7 running iOS 11.1, which at this point I'm filming this video is the latest version of iOS 11. So that's quite nice. Now iOS 11.2 is also in beta, but since probably they didn't release anything, you know, like exploits and stuff like that, and I really hope they didn't make it like, you know, publicly available for Apple, you know, the technique, they use and stuff like that it might still work with iOS 11.2 but they managed to get um, a lot of stuff going on uh, there's also another security researcher that managed to get two bugs to work you know to exploit Safari browser and get sandbox escaping and code execution again on the iPhone 7 which is a hard to jailbreak and hard to penetrate device which is quite a good achievement from both KeenLab and Richard Zhu but um, the iOS 11 as I said is quite ubiquitous lately and there are like four different versions currently signed for the general public and there is also on the Apple developer portal in here available to the developers the iOS 11.2 beta second that's been issued on November 6. Now do not forget that there is a huge bug in the iOS 11 everything starting from iOS 11.0 to iOS 11.1 and everything in between. There is the iCloud bypass bug about which I made a video on my channel you can uh, go ahead and check it out in here if you're interested in the iCloud bypass topic well um to short this out it's pretty much a huge bug in the iOS 11 that allows you to use a fake passcode when you're trying to activate a device and you can activate that device using a trick without even knowing the uh, email and password of the actual owner of the device now you would probably imagine that Apple will not leave such bug for quite a lot of time you know in the wild and working because that would mean a lot of bad image for Apple so uh, iOS 11.2 apparently is fixing that bug so I expect that once iOS 11.2 is out in order to you know mitigate this um, this bug that's been created in iOS 11 they will pretty much unsign at least three of this firmwares they might leave the iOS 11.1 for quite a longer time because you know you can't really unsign everything uh, in the first day of releasing iOS 11.2 what if somebody has problems with iOS 11.2 and they have to downgrade the iOS 11.1 might remain signed, but I think, you know, this is a supposition, but I think once iOS 11.2 is out, these firmwares in here, the point .0s, will be unsigned to pretty much mitigate the, um, the problem at least a bit with the iCloud bypasses. And um, therefore, I have to answer some of your questions. And the first one is, should you update to iOS 11 now that KeenLab managed to break into it successfully, especially on the iPhone 7? Well, no. And I know that I say this a lot of times, but there are still people in there that uh, are not watching my videos regularly, so I have to repeat it in here. If you're running iOS 10.x, uh, you are very lucky. All iOS 10.3.x and 10.x versions are 
way better than iOS 11 in terms of jailbreaking. There are more exploits available, especially for 10.3.2, 10.3.1, and 10.3. iOS 10.2.1 has the Saigon jailbreak, which is still in development, and we haven't heard anything about it, um, you know, any new updates for the Saigon jailbreak in quite some time, I think uh, like two weeks, but it's still working. And I mean, if you want to jailbreak iOS 10.2.1 on a 64-bit present on this list right now, you can do it, which is quite nice. Uh, and um, yeah, if you're on iOS 10.x, there are more exploits available and more chances that a developer who really likes to be asked questions about jailbreaks and stuff like that, or who really uh, can take the uh, the amount of Twitter hate uh, because he's not supporting a specific device, will take this matter into his hands. Now, I do uh, think that this is not going to happen too soon because the community tends to, you know, put a lot of pressure on this developers to support multiple devices or to release jailbreaks for different uh, versions. And that's, that's one of the reasons many have quit. But anyways, uh, you have more chances for a developer to come out of the blue, like the developer of Saigon did, uh, the uh, Abraham Masri, and to create a jailbreak for this version. So no, iOS 11, although it's been breached by KingLab and Richard Zhu, it's still not safe to stay in there and wait for a jailbreak because you might end up getting a jailbreak but not so soon. I mean it's not even known if there will be a jailbreak for iOS 10.3.1, 10.3.2 and 10.3.3 very soon, let alone the iOS 11. So yes, to this question my answer is no. Do not update to iOS 11 no matter what. I will make a video if anything changes and out of the blue iOS 11 becomes the best thing that happened in the iOS community for jailbreaking, but up to that point please do not update to iOS 11. You will regret that later on when a jailbreak will be available. If you lost your patience, remember that just by updating to iOS 11, you gain nothing but some more stock features that are not customizable and that will drain your battery or stuff, whatever. Uh, moving on to the King Lab. Again, this is not official King Lab website. I can't stress this enough. I made a video on this and even though they managed to fake it quite well, including copying the entire team in here and all their projects and all the places they've been holding presentations and stuff like that, it's still not their legit website. A lot of people are sending me this link asking me about their jailbreak because apparently this website provides a fake KingLab IPA jailbreak and a lot of people are sending me this link saying, oh look, uh, KingLab has a new iOS 11 jailbreak. This is not the real KingLab. The real KingLab is KingLab.tencent.com, not Keen-lab.com. This one is completely fake. They're trying to steal King Lab's image and profit over it, but it's not real. Now, the next thing I would like to address again in this video, even though I managed to address it in my other videos, is this Christian Colossi dude on Twitter. He apparently blocked me after I exposed his fake jailbreak, but a lot of people are sending me links to, you know, his tweets. And even though he blocked me on Twitter for exposing him, I can still see his tweets in incognito mode. So there we go. And you can see he's actively posting screenshots of an iOS 11 being jailbroken or iOS 10.3.x being jailbroken. And um, you can see jailbreak iOS 10.3.1, iPhone 5s, and he posts a badly made picture of iOS 10.3.1 CDM. And... Um, yeah, I can see that he posted something like, uh, let me see something in here. Yeah, quote, for release jailbreak iOS 10.3.2, I need one month and 2017. A great present for Christmas. Yeah, no. And, you know, this dude has absolutely no knowledge of iOS. I mean, he definitely has no idea of what the iOS kernel looks like or what the jailbreak components are or what you need for an actual jailbreak. He's definitely out of this scene. So do not download anything he posts or do not follow this guy. Uh, I mean, a lot of people are sending me links to his tweets. Oh, look, there's a new jailbreaker in the community and stuff. No, it's not. And I actually uh, said that he is fake. And you can see here that he um, he calls me out for saying he is fake. And he 
also had the audacity to say uh, that I asked for his kernel code Xcode project when I never asked for anything from him. I don't know why he says that. He's been following me now. He blocked me <laughs> for some reason. But this dude is definitely not going to provide any jailbreak despite many screenshots he's posting in here. So please avoid him and do not download anything from him. Now that's pretty much it guys with the current situation of the jailbreak on iOS 10.3.x and iOS 11. There is no new jailbreak for the moment. The last jailbreak to be um, created was the Saigon jailbreak for iOS 10.2.1 which is at least some progress but it's probably not what you needed, what you wanted. But let's still be thankful for this because other than that iOS 10.2 is the last one to have a stable or sort of stable jailbreak. Anyways, that's pretty much it guys with this video. Thanks for watching. I really hope I made some things clear and I can't stress this enough. Do not update to iOS 11.x. You're safer on iOS 10.x and if you're already on iOS 11.x, make sure you save your blobs and make sure you stay as low as possible. Uh, even though I would probably recommend iOS 11.1 since the iOS 11.0.3 and 0.0.2 have a very bad battery life. But if your battery life is not bad, you should stay as low as possible if you already updated to iOS 11. Now, remember that the app volley application about which I talked in um, a video made 10 hours ago doesn't seem to be working on iOS 11 that well. You cannot install this plus plus applications on iOS 11, which is quite bad. So if you can avoid iOS 11. Now, this video has been brought to you by Wondershare and their trusty Dr. Phone program, which pretty much helps you recover lost or deleted photos, messages, contacts, and so on. If you want, you can check them out in the description down below. It provides a free trial, so you can check out the program and see if you can recover your data that's been lost or erased before you buy the program, which is quite nice. So definitely check them out. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow. Peace out.